Hello everyone, in this video we'll be taking a look at the difference between sparse and dense graphs. Before uh, looking at sparse and dense graphs, let's begin by understanding a few notations. So the number of vertices is represented uh, as, you know, the uh, set V um, surrounded on both sides by these um, vertical lines and that is called as number of vertices and this represents you know the set e uh, surrounded on both sides by uh, vertical lines is called as number of edges um so here let's just assume that uh, n is the number of vertices and for a given directed graph the minimum possible edges that the directed graph can have is zero so basically we could uh, have you know only uh, suppose in this graph uh, we could basically call uh, this a graph even if there were no edges at all. So like this, this would still be considered as a valid graph. This would still be considered as a valid graph. But let's come back to the example. The maximum uh, amount of edges that a directed graph can have is the number of vertices multiplied by the number of vertices minus one. So that's the maximum amount of edges. So in this case, the number of vertices would be four. And so number of vertices is four. And we have the number of edges to be 12, which is nothing but uh, four times three. Okay, so, so that's the number of vertices and then number of vertices minus one. If we count, it's going to be around 12 edges. So that's the maximum amount of uh, edges that a directed graph can have and now let's take a look at the minimum amount of edges it an undirected graph can have and the maximum amount of edges so the minimum remains the same it's zero and the maximum amount of edges for undirected graph would be the number of edges mul uh, number of vertices multiplied by number of vertices minus one whole divided by two because remember this why are we dividing by two is because for undirected graphs the edges are bidirectional so we won't be uh, you know each node uh, so like you know from a to b and b to a there cannot be two separate edges there will only be one edge so this is a bidirectional edge that's the reason we are dividing by two so now let's look at the difference between between sparse and dense graph. So sparse graph means the number of edges would be uh, in the order of the number of vertices, which is uh, nothing but basically the number of edges would be few. Okay, few number of edges uh, within the graph, uh, usually in the order of uh, the number of vertices. That's called as a sparse graph. So an example of sparse graph would be suppose we had uh, this undirected graph for example uh, you know the sparse version of this graph would look like this uh, so basically the number of edges would be uh, uh, one two three four five six so six six edges and uh, that, that's approximately the number of that's exactly the number of uh, vertices that are available in this graph so yeah the number of edges are in the order of the number of vertices so this is an uh, example of an undirected graph which is sparse so on un an undirected dense graph is an example of that is here so the number of uh, edges would be in the order of the number of vertices squared so if you count the total number of edges it would be uh, the number of vertices multiplied by number of vertices minus one whole divided by two. And we have six vertices here. So we have 15 edges in this graph because it will be six times five divided by two. So 30 by two, 15. So that's the total number of edges we have in this graph. That's why we say this is a dense graph. Um, and even this is a good example of a dense directed graph. Um, but in general we can say a dense graph is basically a graph which has a lot of edges uh how much how many edges it's uh, debatable but it's usually in the order of the number of vertices squared uh thank you for uh thank you all for watching this video and i hope to see you all in the next video